Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of my Wahoo Kicker Core. I'm going to show you guys how it works, how it interacts with Zwift, um, why I use Zwift, why I chose Wahoo Kicker Core. One of the first things to keep in mind is just how much space you have. So with my Wahoo Kicker Core, living in an apartment, I needed about six feet of space, like front and back. I just set up my trainer on a mat that I have. I got the Wahoo one, supposed to keep down vibrations since I have a downstairs neighbor. I wanted to make sure I got that just to make sure I didn't have any issues with them um, hearing it. But so far, haven't had any issues with the setup, with all of that. The initial setup, I would uh, make sure you have a little bit more time to take your bike off. Things to think about with the Wahoo Kicker Core, you have to consider how much space you have to store it when your bike's not on it, when you're not using it. The reason why I did choose the Kicker Core over um, the Kicker or the Snap is the Kicker was more expensive and I didn't want to pay for that. And then the Snap, um, it's supposed to be a little bit more, it's supposed to be a little bit louder. And then also it might wear down your back wheel just because it is putting pressure against your back wheel to create the friction when you ride in Zwift. One of the nice things about the Wahoo Kicker Core is it will work in Zwift as the cadence sensor, as your power meter, and it's fully controllable. So what does that controllability mean? What does that cadence mean? So when you're in Zwift, um, some of the programs, um, I'm doing the FTP one right now, it's reliant on how fast your cadence is going. So it might say, let's do 100, let's do 80. Later, <laughs> that will translate into the real world. Um, once you know we go back out. As someone who's not super familiar with like putting my bike together, I usually go to the bike shop. Um, I would have got this done at a bike shop, but because of the pandemic and all that kind of stuff, I've not done it. Putting the legs on is super easy. There's just these two bolts here, and basically they give you a little tool, you fasten them on, um, and that's super easy. The hard part is putting on the cassette. I got the same cassette as my bike, so same number of gears. Um, just to make it a little bit easier for me um, as far as adjusting. It's not perfect when you put it on your bike, even with the same cassette, but at the end of the day, it does work for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, my bike on the trainer, show you guys some of that, and then I'll show you guys how I set up the lift. It. You have your through axle out, um, which was pretty simple. Just, you know, twist, thread out. If you have a quick release, this stays on to your wheel. But with the quick release, you have to pull the entire assembly out. And then this goes back into the bike um, on the trainer. So all we're gonna do is on here, it just goes onto the opposite side of the gearing, push it through, and then you're just gonna twist. And you're gonna see this part over here kind of move in and then everything's locked down. So my entire setup for my Wahoo Kicker Core, a giant Revolt 2 Wahoo Kicker Core, um, always make sure you have a water bottle. And then from there, I have a Garmin, but I don't use it on there. Um, I know you can run your Garmin and interact with the Wahoo Kicker Core or your Wahoo. Um, and then I have a fan and the fan just kind of keeps me cold because there's no wind or anything while riding. And then I have my laptop over here and my laptop kind of controls Zwift. Okay, so now that we're in Zwift, we're gonna go ahead and hit this let's go. Your first time through, it will actually have more of a tutorial and more of a setup, but since I've been using this for a little bit longer, um, it just kind of dumps me straight in and it doesn't give a lot of explanation. So after you log in, you get all that stuff set up. The first thing that you'll see is this screen here on Zwift and it'll give you an option to see that your power source, your controllable, your controllable is if you can control your trainer. So with the Wahoo Kicker Core, it's completely trainable. And then for your cadence, you can actually use uh, your Wahoo Kicker Core, or you can actually set up your um, sensor if you have one. But since I'm not actually gonna do a ride today, I just wanna show you guys around this. I'm gonna do that. And then your heart rate sensor, when you have your heart strap on, you can use that. And then from there, you can go ahead and hit ride. And it's a pretty fun experience from there. One of the things 
to think about when you're looking at the Wahoo Kicker Core is, are you looking for a training plan or just another place to ride? For me, riding indoors is a lot more exhausting mentally. Um, that's why I kind of watch TV, do something else while I'm doing it. Um, and the other thing about it is, I don't have a power meter on my bike. So what it allows me to do is actually focus on specific things that I'm trying to train. So I've been doing the FTP program, so that's increasing my wattage and it's really coaching me through that. So it's telling me like, okay, I want you to do a sprint. So 250 watts. When I use my Garmin and I do their training program without any power meters, your heart rate's not always consistent. It's not always equivalent to the same level of effort that you're putting out. You know, I'm on the heavier side. It's worked perfectly for me. I haven't had any issues um, kind of using this. So I recommend you guys try it out, especially as winter comes and you guys might be looking for something else to do in the winter when it's too cold and icy um, to ride. Um, not now, but later is also walk you guys through some of my colder weather riding gear. Um, how I go out and ride, especially if you guys are in the Midwest and you guys are looking for how to ride in the cold weather. So look for that in the coming weeks. It's probably not gonna be my next post um, just because it still is fall. Um, but yeah, look for that coming up. Hit subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. Um, I'm gonna keep on trying to put out content on Mondays and Fridays.